Hello friends, my name is Alex Grekis and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Now the purpose of this series is to visit ancient sites that time has long forgotten. Today is going to be an exciting day. We're trekking near the town of Bishop, California and specifically we're going to a place called the Volcanic Tabletop. We're going to visit two petroglyph sites. The first site that we're going to visit is known as the 13th Moon Site and the second one is known as the Cistern Chapel. It's going to be an exciting journey, and so I invite you to come trek with me. I know we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're in a place called the Tabletop here in Bishop. And I tell you, <laughs> I've been trekking three to four hours here in this desert high country looking for one boulder called the 13 Moons. And so I know it's around here somewhere, but look at this, it's quite daunting. And unfortunately, I had the GPS coordinates, but I'll have to say it was poor planning on my part. But, anyways, I think. This is a spot. Oh my goodness, I think I see them. Okay, look, directly ahead as, uh, as we go closer. Well, this is really, I feel elated, you know. <laughs> I've been trekking out here for four hours and kind of unhappy with myself and uh, that I had uh, poorly, I guess, planned this little trek. But we're here and I, I feel elated. And there it is. This is going to be. Uh, amazing. It's an amazing sight because it, they call it the 13 moons because there's a, the 13 globes, okay, and you'll see what I mean by globes, you know, pecked into this uh, monolithic flat face uh, boulder. Well, I'm heading up as close as I can get to the panel. Look at that. Quite fascinating. You know, from here I actually see some uh, red pigment, uh, which I'll show you as we uh, come in closer. Interesting, I didn't notice that in the beginning, but if you look at that center globe that looks like it has antennas coming out from under it and above it, uh, right adjacent to it you can see a red dot or I should say some uh, red painting. Can you see it? Right there, some red pigment there, there, and let me see, I thought I saw some higher up. But anyways, you can see the red pigment right over there. So probably a lot of it is washed away over time. Uh, you know, the elements here on these stone here, which is the uh, petroglyph, you know, they're etched or pecked in there, they'll be there for thousands of years. But a red pigment paint and a sun, uh, directly in a sun, won't last too long. Well, friends, this 13 moon site is uh, truly fantastic. Now, many people ascribe these 13 globes as moons, and they refer to this as a potential um, image or images of a lunar cycle, the 13 moons of a lunar year, and that the images, the pect petroglyphs around these globes, are actually a description of events that occurred during those periods. However, I'll have to say that this is all very speculative. Now the next site is very interesting because there are also these globes or these moons 
onto the site. But the interesting thing is if you look at them real closely, you'll see that many of them have a red pigment. In other words, a pictograph, a painting, was placed over these pect globes. So we call them pictoglyphs. Quite fascinating, and I think you'll enjoy this next segment. And so I invite you to keep trekking with me.
Well, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this trek that we've taken to the 13 moon and the cistern chapel sites. Now, many people ask me, Alex, why don't you provide more information? When were these petroglyphs made? Who were the cultural group that made them and so forth? Well, you know, one of the purpose of this series is to spark an interest in your mind so that you can go seek further knowledge. And so this is an introduction for you. The information is out there. All you have to do is go seek it. Well, anyways, let's keep on trekking. Hey!